So before we even start this video, my last video had two comments complaining that my bed wasn't made, so I wanted to get this out of the way now and actually like make the bed before we start, so. No, I'm Evil Duo Sarm. I do what I want. Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duo Sarm here today, and today I have for you a video where we're going to be looking at the Black Friday sales coming to Blade and & Soul, and we're going to do a little cost analysis to see if they are worth picking up or not. So my basis for cost analysis on this is going to be basically comparing if you went ahead and purchased in-game gold, so if you were to spend the same amount of money, real life money, on buying gold in-game through the F9 menu, would you be better off buying the in-game gold or buying these packs? So I hope this video helps you to make an educated decision on what you buy if you do choose to buy anything for this Black Friday sale coming up. As always, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing as it does mean a lot to me. Without further ado, let's get into the analysis. So this event starts Thursday, November 22nd at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So this is Thanksgiving Day for us in the United States, everywhere else just a regular old Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you don't know where this time lines up in the world, it is 8 hours behind GMT. So if you know where GMT is, 8 hours behind that. So our first items, our first set of items that is on the store that will be discounted are going to be character alteration vouchers as well as a level 50 character creation voucher. So the level 50 character creation voucher is having its price cut in half. It's going from 4,000 end coin, which is 50 US dollars, down to 2,000 end coin, so 25 US dollars if you want to go ahead and pick this up. The interesting thing about this is that it has the Brilliant Venture Token times 5. So this Brilliant Venture Token times 5 is worth 900 Hongmoon coins, so that almost covers like half of the cost of this item. However, with the event coming with the Theater of Mystery that it gives you a 7 day free premium, these Brilliant Venture Tokens are going to be worth double. So if you hold on to the Venture Tokens until after that update goes live on December 5th, you'll be able to redeem these Brilliant Venture Tokens for a total of 1800 Hong Moon Coin. 1800 Hong Moon Coin basically is the same price as this voucher, so it's almost like getting a free level 50 character even though you're actually paying for it, but it basically balances itself out. You get everything you put in as far as money wise, and then you'll get a level 50 character in return. So that's actually pretty cool, and actually would be one of the few times that this level 50 character voucher is going to be worth it, since it only takes like 13 hours to get to the point where this thing drops you off. Two other vouchers that are up for offer on this Black Friday sale are going to be your character alteration voucher. So this one lets you change your character's appearance, and this one will be going off for a 40% discount, and the name change voucher going for another 40% discount as well. So if you have been wanting to change your character's appearance or name for any reason whatsoever, this will be the time to do it as you'll be getting a discount. As far as monetary-wise, how it compares, I mean, it's up to you. It's not like this is anything that will improve your playstyle or make you play better. But if you have been waiting, definitely the time to do it. So the next item that's available for purchase on this Black Friday special is actually an interesting one. It is four discontinued costumes sold in a bundle. So purchasing this bundle will give you all four of the costumes. And they are the Best Friend, Chime, Adventurer, and Shadow Guard for right around 25 USD, just a hair over it, 2,068 end coin. So the outfits look like this. They're right here on the screen. Uh, if you want to see what they actually look like on your different characters, I'm going to pull them up in the F3 menu here in Blade and Soul. So this is the Chime outfit. It's a pretty cool looking outfit. It looks the same on all the female characters like that. And then on the male characters, it's exactly the same as well. It's like this open shirt V-neck looking thing. So go ahead and pause the video anywhere if you want to see where it's rolling around. Next one is the Best Friend costume, and this one looks pretty much the same on the genders as well, so I'm not going to bother thumbing through all of them, but uh, that's what it looks like on the different characters. Here's the Adventurer costume, this is what it looks like on males, basically the same on all of them, the Gone have an open chest. And then if you look at the female side, the females, uh, the female Lins have the same looking one, but the female Gone and Jin have the open chested looking one with the cross there in the middle. Same thing with the Yuns as well. Our final outfit is Shadow Guard that's included on this pack, so this is what it looks like on male characters, this uh, little secret agent looking outfit. And if we look at the females, pretty much the same thing, except the little open chest thing in the middle there. So uh, that is the outfit on all the different races. And I was editing the video and realized that I didn't show Shadow Guard for Lin, so this is what it looks like on Lin, exact same on both male and female. Now you can't say that I never edit my videos. Alright, so the next bundles that we have coming up are going to be gem bundles. So these gems come with a heptagonal gem, either the amber or aquamarine, as well as some gem powders, legendary gem hammers, blah 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 blah. So I actually have a spreadsheet that I put together when I was putting all this together, because so, you know I love my spreadsheets. But anyway, with the gem packs, the gem packs are worth it on their own if you're going to go ahead and purchase these gems anyway. So if you purchase the thing to go and sell onto the marketplace, sell everything that you get that's worth actual money, you could sell it on for an exchange rate of 85 gold per US dollar that you put in. The current going rate on the market assumed at 1 to 1.6, 
minutes, which is what it was when I logged in today. And if I'm talking too fast, I'm sorry, but basically I'm just saying that this is worth um, is 50. So you're basically making about 35 extra gold compared to if you were to just buy gold off of the marketplace. So this will be a good investment as long as the price of gem powders don't drop, which I'm sure they will after it comes out. But anyway, if you were purchasing this to buy the gem for yourself, so say you didn't have a heptagonal aquamarine, it would be worth 123 gold per dollar that you put in, which is actually some of the best exchange rates in the game, probably one of the best I've ever seen. So this gem pack is a very strong gem pack for the current state of the market in the NA server. I'm sorry I didn't check prices in EU. But that is also contingent on gem powders being worth 17 gold. As they drop in price as these packs get bought up, this will slowly and slowly work out to being worth less. And the point that it stops being worth it is right around 8 or 9 gold per gem powder. So still a very strong purchase if you are looking to buy gem powders or upgrade your gems. One of the better items that is available during this Black Friday sale. The other two items that are coming with this are going to be Aranza School Reset Bundles and Kanda Vihar Reset Bundles. So like mathematically this Kanda Vihar Bundle Reset is like amazing and is like super good value because of how many Kanda Vihar Resets you get. In reality, the dungeon is starting to become a bit outdated and not as many people need to run this and you can purchase about 90% of everything you need from this just fresh off the market. So I would have to say that this is not very much worth this Kanda Vihar, even though mathematically works out to actually being probably the best exchange in the entire thing. Uh, not as useful as the other items that are on this list here. Now the Aransu reset is only worth it if you actually can get stuff from Temple of Alluvium anymore. The items themselves, if you look at my little spreadsheet here that I threw together, the items themselves are only worth about 700 gold on the market. The total cost of this pack, if you were to buy it off the market, would be 875 gold, so you're losing gold on this. So you need to be getting something out of those Aransu resets for it to be worth anything. Assuming you only get Hive Queen Wings from running your weekly dungeons over and over again for your 15 resets, you will net 1180, which makes this worth about 67 gold per dollar that you spend. And like I said earlier, the exchange rate is 50 gold per dollar. So it's sort of worth, it's not an amazing thing. And if you don't get anything out of those Aransu resets, then you're really, it really wasn't worth it. So this is a speculative buy at the best. So once again, guys, this store update or these Black Friday specials will be going live Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. This video is going live at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, so that's about four hours before it goes live. So that's fantastic. You'll be watching this and be like, wow, these are such great things that I can go and buy now. But anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you an idea on what you might want to buy or what would be worth buying on your end. And if you did like this video, make sure to leave a like. Check out some of the other videos on the channel and make sure you're subscribed so you stay updated when new videos come out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you at the next video. Peace.